hey guys this is Noor from 4G electronics and you are watching mobile solutions welcome to my channel and thanks for watching another video of LG G3 Wi-Fi series if you are facing the Wi-Fi Bluetooth connection problem in your LG G3 or you see connection not allowed with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi settings as you can see on screen when I want to open it it just go back and disable or sometime it's trying to enable Wi-Fi but failed if you are facing any problem one of them then stay connected to this video and keep watching if you want to solve your problem if you are watching this video you are on the right place but before watching this video i will recommend you to watch part first of the wi-fi lg g3 problem and apply the trick that i have explained in that video <clears throat> if you have already experienced and the problem is still persist then the next solution will be to change Broadcom Wi-Fi and Bluetooth IC. So in this video, we are going to show you how to change Broadcom Wi-Fi IC. We are going to scrape away the epoxy underfill glue around the chip. Once you remove most of the glue from around the chip, go and clean the board and get ready to extract the chip. Place the board in holder and not to damage any component near IC. Before you start, make sure about the orientation of IC chip so that you know which way to install new IC later on. Put some flags and start heating after a machine, the chip will start to loosen but don't move like a normal IC chip. As the chip heats up, the underfill will loosen up as well and we will be able to slide up the blade. Once you felt all the solder balls are melted, give it a small upward nudge and pop off the chip off. As you can see, the chip is now off and all the pads are safe. Now we have to clean all the underfill glue around the area. So apply some flux and begin cleaning. This is a very delicate process. You have to take your time and clean the glue this is a perfect time to take a moment to clean and making sure all the components around the area are still in their proper place
once you have cleaned all the pads very clearly apply some flux and clean it again this is a new IC I have got from aliexpress.com you can find purchase link from in the description this is a new working IC now we will try to fix this IC make sure about the orientation of IC take your time before you place the IC on board just clean the pads in a good way and place the IC this is also a very delicate process you have to take your time to place IC in a good direction after setting the IC place the IC with tweezers and apply some flux and continue to heat the chip on the top side once the chip is settled to its place you can remove the tweezers and continue to apply heat over the chip in circular motion need to apply heat until you felt the balls are melted and making a solid connection once the phone is assembled power up the phone and let it completely boot go to settings and slide the wi-fi button to the on position if for some reasons either bluetooth or wi-fi don't work disassemble your phone again and take a look at chip there must be a gap between the chip and board the chip shouldn't be fly on the board if necessary apply some flux and reflow the chip and test it again your feedback would be very helpful to us and anyone else watching this video if you found this video very helpful please give thumbs up and be sure to share this video with anyone you know that may he experiencing the similar problem with their phone also if there are any questions comments suggestions that may benefit anyone watching this video be sure to leave a comment in a comment se section below thanks for watching this video bye bye